from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow. And they rule you, one and all. You knew. All along you knew and you never told Bruce about the threat to Gotham. When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining something. Something that seems like it might come from a Lazarus pit. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. Guess we know how the Talons are cooked up, then. Thanks for that. But, why leave the court digging? Why not offer them a Lazarus pit? Then control them from the inside. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. You don't treat the Lazarus Pits any different than the court. Oh, those are some harsh words. After all, your friend Jason benefited. What about what he wanted? Jason had no say in what you did to him. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. You don't get to talk about gratitude right now, Talia. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. I know you, Talia. You just want us to get rid of the boys so you can do whatever you want. What's your endgame here? I'll do what I can distract the League, and your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Oh, this is how Montoya feels.